Hello and welcome back to chapter five of our elementary course via Ask Academic and this one is entitled Chinese Laws. So let us continue down and see what's on the next slide. Okay, the first thing we are given is vocabulary, it's A, and we are given a sentence. I'm going to read through the sentence for you. So it's going to instruct you as to what to do on the slide. Towns are full of different buildings and places of interest. And it says to match each place on the left with a sentence on the right. They've provided us with an example, which is post office. I need some stamps and an envelope. OK, so firstly, we given place and there's a list of places underneath it. And then we given a sentence and there's a long list of sentences as well. So as I said before, we are going to match everything in column A and place with everything in column B. OK, so firstly, I'm going to read through the list of places and sentences, and then I want you to pause the video, read through it on your own, and then you're going to move on to matching. So let's begin with places. The first place is a museum. So a place of art, park, a place to play, restaurant, a place to eat, library, a place to read, River, a place to sit and maybe relax and admire the surroundings. University, a place of study. Post office, a place to obviously send your post. Church, a place of play prayer, as well as you could have weddings there and some other religious type of events. OK, moving on to stadium. A stadium is a place where they probably play a lot of sports or games. Square. This reminds me of a place that has a lot of shops around it, all close-knit and together. Okay, moving on to railway station. This is somewhere, obviously, you can catch a train or so. Pub, a place to drink. Bank, a place to deposit or withdraw money. And fountain, a place you could get water. Okay, so let's take a look at our sentences. The first sentence is, do you want to play with the Frisbee? So if you were a sporty person, you'd probably be into this. And some people even do this with their dogs. The next one, it's the finals tonight. It will be a great game. So sometimes a group of friends get together and watch games. And in this instant, one could be suggesting it to a, a other friend or like a group of people. OK, the next one, I love the sound of running water. So this is probably like ASMR or what ASMR is to some people. Listening, closing your eyes, and just enjoying that feeling. The next one, I need to speak to my professor. So someone obviously needs to speak to their professor at the university or a place of study. The next one, I'm going to a wedding. So someone could be going for a friend or family member's wedding. And the next sentence, they have a special beast of the Jurassic exhibition. Okay, if you have time, Come and have lunch with me. So someone's inviting someone out to lunch. I have to study this afternoon. I have 10 minutes to catch my train. So this person better get running. The next one, are you thirsty? I am. So someone needs a drink of water. There are so many pigeons to feed. This person is probably a bird lover and they are so kind that they are bringing food to feed the pigeons. I need some stamps and an envelope. Well, you better get out and buy some then. The next one, let's go and feed the ducks. Again, another animal lover. They are actually suggesting it this time. Whilst the other person was just gawking probably or staring at how many pigeons they are to feed. And the last sentence, do you need to get any money out? So they obviously are talking about withdrawing money from a place of withdrawal, okay. Now I want you to pause the video, as I've mentioned before, read through this as many times as you like. And when you come back, we are going to do the matching. I'm going to give you the answers. You can match them or check them with your own and correct them if there's any need to do any necessary corrections. OK, so without further ado, you may go on. Welcome back to our course. I take it that you have taken the time, paused the video and done the answers. And now I'm going to give you the corrections. So starting with the first one over here, museum. And it matches with, they have a special beast of the Jurassic exhibition. Okay, the next one is park. And park matches with, do you want to go and play with the Frisbee? 
Okay, the next one is restaurant. And it is, if you have time, come out and have lunch with me. So it's an invitation. The next one is library. And it matches with I need to study this afternoon. The next one is river. And this one matches with there are so many ducks to feed. The next one is university. And this one matches with I need to speak to my professor. Okay, moving on to post office. This one matches with I need some stamps and an envelope. Going on to church, I'm going to a wedding. The next one is stadium and stadium matches with it's the finals tonight. It will be a great game. Moving on to the following one and that one is square and with square we have there are so many pigeons to feed because that's where they usually gather in the square whilst people are walking. Okay, moving on to the next one, railway station. And this is quite obvious. I have 10 minutes to catch my train because that's where you catch trains. Moving on to the next one, which is pub. And that matches with, are you thirsty? I am. A pub is a place to get some drinks. Okay, bank. Do you need to get any money out? It's associated with withdrawals. And then we have fountain. And the fountain matches with, I love the sound of running water. Because when you open the fountain or when you put your mouth near the fountain or when you hear the fountain, you hear water running. Okay, so let's continue now with the next slide. Okay, now we are going to move on to reading and we are given a little sentence that I'm going to read out to you. So let's begin. This is an article about a neighborhood in the Chinese city of Shanghai. The neighborhood is called English Town and find out why. So if you didn't know anything about Shanghai, it's a very modern city in China and it's often compared with Beijing because they contrast so much. And they all, always say that Beijing is a little bit more traditional and you can feel a little bit maybe of the culture and stuff in that area and Shanghai is really modern, large skyscrapers and so much more. Okay, then we are given a couple of paragraphs over here. I'm going to read through each paragraph and I want you to then pause the video obviously and read through them on your own and once you've done we're going to move on to see which is tells us after reading the comprehension that we can use the information in the article to answer the questions based on this. Okay, so let's go in. The building company Hong Kong Housing is the building a new suburb in Shanghai, a city with a population of more than 15 million, so lots of people live here. But this suburb is not like other parts of Shanghai. It's a little piece of England, so they are making English style houses in Shanghai. The name of the new area is English Town. The manager of the Hong Kong housing, Shi Guangsheng, says many people in this area of China want to buy English house and live in the English Town. Okay, so there's people living there are separated into two bunches. Some that might be into this, but he feels the guy who is in charge of this housing feels that there are many people that are going to go for this. So he's very confident about this. Moving on to the second paragraph. This town is like Bristol or Chester. There's an English square and there are pigeons to feed like the Trafficker Square London. There are four English style pubs and you can buy English beer to drink. There's a canal and you can row a boat there like in Cambridge. Okay, so lots of activities to do. It sounds really fun. Let's move on to the next paragraph. Are there any cricket fields? No, there aren't any place to play cricket because no one in Shanghai can play the game. And this is true. I have a couple of Chinese students and none of them have mentioned cricket at all, unfortunately, though the sport is popular in many other countries. But there is a football stadium like those in England. And the thing we are very proud of is our shopping street. There are several shops where you can buy traditional English food like fish and chips or Christmas pudding. So that very London sort of England feel to it. So it's like, as they said, English town, but I would call it a mini England in Shanghai or as they've referred to it as a little piece of England. Moving on, the rich Shanghai businessman K. 
can do some gardening too. So for with every house in English town, there's an English lawn, there are long gardens, ponds, and tall hedges. So they are trying to really create a replica of what you would get if you are in England. And this is what some Chinese people want. And according again to the businessman, who's the manager of the Hong Kong housing, he says many people want this. So it could be more than any of us think. Now, there is one problem. The houses in this part of the town cost a minimum of 400,000. So this is very, very expensive. Maybe not many people in China can afford this. Now we're going to move on, but once again, I want you to read through the slide on your own because there are going to be questions, as I've mentioned earlier, that follow and I want you to answer them. Okay, moving on to reading comprehension C. I'm going to read through the questions, you will answer them, and I'm going to give you the answers. Number one, where is English town? Number two, are these houses for English or Chinese people to buy? Number three, what animals are there in English town? Number four, how many English pubs are there in the new suburb? Number five, why are there no cricket fields in the new development? Number six, how does she, she Guan Chang, feel about the English style shops? Number seven, what green thing does every house in English town have? And number eight, are the houses cheap or expensive? Remember, pause the video, answer them, and when you get back, I will give you the answers, okay? I take it that you've paused the video and answered everything, and now I'm going to give you the answers. So, where is English town? English town is in Shanghai. Are the houses for English or Chinese people to buy? They are for Chinese people to buy. What animals are there in English town? So, the only thing they've mentioned are birds. They are pigeons. Okay. How many English pubs are there in the new suburb? So there are four English style pubs. Moving on to the next question. Why are there no cricket fields in the new development? There are no cricket fields because nobody in China can pr play cricket, unfortunately. How does Xi Guangsheng feel about the English style shops? He feels many people in China want to live in English style housing. Number seven. What green thing does every house in English town have? And they have long gardens with ponds and tall hedges. Number eight, are the houses expensive or cheap? And the answer is they are expensive. Okay, so check your answers. And with that, we've reached the end of chapter five. Great chapter with you guys. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next chapter. So bye for now and see you there. Bye-bye.